Section 501c3. And laws are established and uh, are set forth by what? Congress. Not the executive, not the president. Judicial. Not the ju just judicial system. Because what does the judicial system, which I believe that's uh, Title Title Three, I mean Article Three, if I'm not mistaken, in the Constitution, Article One is Congress, Article Two is uh, Executive, and Article Three is uh, judicial. judicial. So you have a Supreme Court, and what stem from the Supreme Court are inferior federal courts. You have uh, United uh, District Courts and United States. Uh, uh, what is it? Uh, district courts and and um, and what's the other thing? You have district courts. Not circuit court, is it? And you have circuit courts. Okay. I believe there's nine to ten circuit courts. Then you have district district courts. Because when we had sued the city of New York under a uh, federal court, we went into the district of uh, New York under district court, and what they did was they settled out of court. Now, had we gone to the next level, that would have been one of the circuit courts. Then the ultimate court is the Supreme Court. They do not make laws. They rule on laws. Right. Okay, they rule. All right? They interpret laws. Congress makes laws. Right. So the, uh, the IRS is a creature of what? Of Congress. Yeah. Yeah. The 501c3 uh, status of Title 26 of the United States Code is a creature of Congress. Yep. So you can understand. Not a creature. Going of back movement. going back to the First Amendment. Right. So you can't go and say, well, the Romans did this and uh, Cyrus did that. That's, that's those kingdoms, man. That has nothing to do with now, man. That's right. Because they established this system as all men being free. That's right. So now they're putting re restrictions on you. They want to check your books. Go ahead. It says, in Everson versus Board of Education, 1947, the court drew on founding father Thomas Jefferson's correspondence to call for a wall of separation between church and state. Though the precise boundary of this separation remains in dispute, speech rights were expanded significantly, significantly in a series of 20th and 21st century court decisions which protected various forms of political speech, anonymous speech, campaign financing, pornography, and school speech. These rulings also defined a series of exceptions to First Amendment protections. The Supreme Court overturned English common law presidents to increase the burden of proof for defamation and libel suits, most notably in uh, New York Times Company versus Sullivan, 1964. Um, that was pretty much, pretty much it. Okay, so you're getting an understanding, man. So you you're not you're not a good leader. You're leading your your your, your zombies into uh, darkness. All right. Yeah. Your your focus should be on teaching the scriptures and not talking about we're going to build a bigger house, a bigger building, and we're going to do this and we're going to do that. And you sound like the Church of Laodicea. Matter of fact, let's go to that man. Right. Laodicea. Yeah, they're the church of Leo Deceit. Leo of Deceit. Go ahead. Uh, this is the book of uh, Revelation, uh, chapter 4. No, no, no. Three. I'm sorry, chapter 3 and verse 14. And unto the angel of the church of the Laodiceans write, These things saith the Amen, the faithful and the true witness, the beginning of the creation of the Most High. I know thy works, that thou art neither cold nor hot. I would thou wert cold or hot. So then, because thou art lukewarm, and neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of my mouth. Because thou sayest, I am rich and increased with goods. That's what this guy's saying. We got better garments. We got bigger buildings. Better computers. We got better computers. Better you sound like the church of uh, Leo DC. Leo DC. Which was named after <laughs> you got you got if you if you if you understood uh, Daniel the eleventh chapter you would know who Leo D C is. That's right. That's all I'm gonna say on that. They make fun of the room where you do the lesson. It says because thou sayest I am rich and increased with goods and have need of nothing and knowest not that thou art wretched and miserable and poor and blind and naked. 
That's what you guys are. You're naked. Although you're wearing physical garments, you're naked because you're not clothed with the truth of the scriptures. You don't know all the scriptures, man. That's why you're going. That's why you got a lot of people following you, because you, because you're that. You're, well, you're like the uh, what's that city uh, that was condemned to hell? Oh, uh, Capernaum. Capernaum. You're like Capernaum, man. You're trying to build a, the the new millennium Capernaum, man. <laughs> I like this guy ASAP. All right, he said, uh, "When we get that power, when we get that level, you're gonna see. We ain't gonna see a damn thing, man." And then this clown Nate, this shaky idiot, he's gonna talk about uh. Uh, what, what do you say? Uh, he said, these guys been on the corner 34th Street and uh, 7 for 10 years. We've been on the corner longer than that. All right? And they haven't accomplished nothing. Oh, do, how you, do you see all the GMS uh, camps out there? We, we accomplished exactly what the Most High told us to accomplish, man. Now, if it comes to opening soup kitchens and bread lines and, no, and stuff like that, no. We're not no. <laughs> yeah. We're not, we're not, we're not under the spirit of uh, the the church of Laodicea. That's right. Okay, read that again. It says, um, it says, Hold the mic. Okay. Um, this, it says, um, because thou sayest, I am rich and increased with goods and have need of nothing, and knowest not that thou art wretched and miserable and poor and blind and naked. Now I got a quick precept to go with that. This is the book of Revelation. 16 and 15 Behold I come as a thief Blessed is he that watcheth And keepeth his garments Least he walk naked And they see his shame And he's walking naked Because he don't know the scripture Con, And you walking naked Nate Because naked Nate That's your new name Naked Nate Because uh, you don't have the truth You know You had the truth at once But the Lord stripped that truth away from you You know And then you, you guys will probably take that scripture As being literal Talking about real actual garments It's talking about uh, the uh, spiritual garments Which is the knowledge of the truth Beginning with the name of Yahweh And the name of Yahweh Shai And then everything else You know Broken down the, the correct way Right It says Behold I, I come as a thief Blessed is he that watcheth And keepeth his garments Least he be naked He walk naked And they see his shame And people are seeing your shame now But they're going to see it even, even more Once the Lord really fully exposes you Because the Lord uh, He's using a Lord you know, we're, we're through the spirit right of Yahweh Shem El Shai, we're exposing you. And then you have brothers out there throughout the different the GMS camps. So they're finding all kind of dirt on you. They're exposing you. Know? And they're exposing you. There's a guy that broke off from you guys, and he's saying that uh, you guys wasn't right. You all about a power trip. And um, he was saying that um, I don't know how true that is. I mean, it's his word against your word, all right? So I'm not going to say just because he says it says it is true because I'm going to be fair, all right? But knowing you guys, you would do some shit like that. You had one guy calling this guy's wife behind his back. Let me tell you something, man. If I was down with y'all and you got on the phone and you talked to my wife behind my back, guess what? I'll wh whip your fucking ass, man. <laughs> I'll go carnal on your ass quick, man. I'll catch your ass out there and beat the shit out you, man. <laughs> If any man talk, talk, talking to my wife behind my fucking back and I find out about it, that's your fucking ass, man. That's, you, you, you're a wicked... But I believe you would do something like that, man. Yeah. And this guy that broke off, show your face, man. Make videos, man. Yeah. Yeah, you well, claim that you're following GMS. Well, get down like GMS, man. Yeah. You live down in Atlanta, Atlanta, get down with the brother... Uh, the brother um, Yara, Dunn. Yara Dunn down there in um in that camp down there, man. You 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 left one camp, you left.